Hi guys, today's January 5th. Um, this is going to be a longer video. Um, have you guys noticed you guys have been feeling off ever since this beginning of the year? Everything seems shifted. People have changed. You're going through hardships really bad, but it's not like it was last year. It's like, um weirder hardships like my brother-in-law for instance he's in the hospital he broke his back and spine and ribs um and it happened on my mom's birthday the second and um he's facing charges but I don't understand because it's like the way that it happened it was a setup something that we would have never expected um and then they're acting completely off as if they've there's something that clicked that's not there like they're literally missing a piece okay all right so um and then the headaches the, the pressure the fog um the, the storms that have rolled in the snow the rain the um just all of it it's just off you just feel like a major shift well um come across some um, information from Laura, Laura Wells, um, John Trachiax, um, Paul Bagley, Mike from Around the World, uh, Laya Raymond, um, Brandon Nagley, um, Calvin Simpson. I mean, there's just so many people. I can't even keep up with all this intel that's coming in, but they're all saying the exact same thing. Um, and it's about the pole shift, about the 40 degrees that it's getting ready to flip. We just had high energy waves and particles coming through. And I'm just going to read you some of this stuff. It's just absolutely mind-blowing. And it's hit today. Um, today's the day, the 5th, that all this is going and or supposed to be going down. So I'm going to read you this one first. Like I said, there's, there's a lot. Um, I had intel coming in about the coming exotic energy particle waves. And some of us have been talking about it. Through Messenger and amongst ourselves, waiting for more data as we monitor closely to the time. I've been telling people in person about it as well for a while now. Well, Mike, whom I've done notes and broadcast on since around 2014-2015, I've actually partnered with Paul and him on sending information of the past for their broadcast had very similar to say and is backing up what other sources are saying as well we're about to start getting hit with these dense waves as, of exotic particles from the binary brown dwarf system um, and I've been saying likely in early January of 2023 Mike and his sources have it narrowed down to it being around the 5th that it gets to our heliosphere so early January like I've been saying so around the 5th 6th was already looking at a high watch date so that gives me double reason to watch closely around that date. That is just the first burst wave. The ones behind it become stronger. They lost data of the Schumann Renaissance. And the thing that I wanted to mention about that is... Right here. I may not... Oh, I left it in the printer. That's nice. Okay, well... Um, have we thought that maybe, okay, right here, they're not hiding it anymore. They're not hiding the frequency, the data, okay? They're, they've not hit it, and the reason how we haven't been able to see it, okay, is because this planet that's coming is, um, in our binary system, planet X, the red planet, whatever you want to call it, Wormwood, um, is knocking the system out of its orbit because God is so powerful. God himself had to create a being um, and nobody can be in his presence without being completely transformed. But because Jesus is coming back, we're waiting like he's already on the cloud riding down, getting ready to come get us. And it because of it, his force from heaven shifts everything out. Because remember, when Jesus comes back, mountains will fall. I mean, everything just falls out of place because of him. How much more is he doing to our system to wake people up, the judgment that's coming? So when he comes and the rapture comes, this planet is going to be a cover-up as to all of us disappearing. And then they're going to talk about an alien invasion. But it's all around the same timing of Wormwood. Okay, and that's the only thing that I can think of that would make shift make sense with the shift. Um, so, continuing reading. 
Mike and his sources have it narrowed down. I already said that. Okay. So that gives me double reason to watch closely in that after this, it becomes stronger. Watch how the sun reacts first. And if you notice, the sun has hardly been out. And when it's out, it's not the same. It's really fake. And then tonight also, if you, um, um, I'll have to send it. I seen it on TikTok and Amber Smith shared it. And, uh, uh, they are seeing two moons again. Holly Two Moons um, has mentioned it. I've dreamt of them. Many people have. Only I don't think it's really a moon. It could be from the underground, you know, that they're coming back up into the surface um, from the um, scorpions, as they say, that come up from the earth, from the abyss, the, the locusts, the, the scorpions that are going to torment uh, the super soldiers that they've been creating, so on and so forth. This is just a lot of information. So anyways, let's get back to this. So sometimes the sun will take the brunt end of it, but don't know this time if they it will be able to protect the big hit or not. So we'll have to monitor and collect data to see what kind of idea the next waves will do. And the next waves will be stronger. Okay, watch how our sun reacts to the wave of these exotic particle energies. Once it hits earthquakes, watch warning volcanoes magma also okay you can also watch for things like planet ex plant explosions especially chemical plants grid issues biologically speaking health issues there's also a scientific link to heighten sonic cardiac death in the general public on high space weather geomagnetic activity days and if you've noticed uh what's his name hymen um the quarterback or the linemen, there's been a bunch of people that's dead. Barbara Walters, I didn't even know who she was, but figured it out through a couple friends. So, um, people just die in sudden cardiac arrest. Boom. And if you notice your heart feels racy, you, you feel all out of sorts, you don't feel yourself. Okay, so pay attention to your body and these health during these waves. Watch animal behaviors, which mine have been different too. Um... They've been skittish, uh, seeing things that aren't there, just not themselves. Um, auras, sunset, sunrises, the sky, planes, etc. And you know, if we're lucky, it would just miss us all together. Um, but this is high watch dates, okay? So we've got to watch and monitor it closely. So now we have high earthquake watch for January 2023. And um, this was from World News Today YouTube channel. And he's pretty good at keeping up updated information, especially dealing with climate issues in the sun. First talked about this, and now others' prediction models are telling you on the coast in California, there's a high possibility of an earthquake of a 7.0 size quake in different parts of California on multiple prediction models. Um, I don't trust machine predictions, as God alone knows these things when they'll be able, when they'll when they'll be though yes right now i already feel and know america is about to have massive earthquakes uh in soon time especially since california just had two large quakes within weeks and an insider mike from around the world said as you can hear what he said if you scroll my timeline seeing video with mike from around the world with pastor paul, paul bagley mike mentioned new shock waves of energy coming inbound pure cosmetic radiation not from a gamma ray burst as those are separate waves Mike warned of years ago that's been hitting us, not including the backside of Earth being hit due to a magnetar, which is a planet killer, as those who are called, with two planet X system bodies behind Earth throwing horrible radiation to the backside of the planet while radiation is coming in heavy from the sun due to planet X system objects. Uh, perturbing the sun so bad it's causing the sun to shoot off flares and CMEs um, at us daily while also we now got a giant wave of radiation Mike warned us of days ago coming up from a different source not sure what though it's massive and will hit our heliosphere hard and they don't know what this wave will do and it will affect the sun between the 5th 7th and, and or 8th of this month and it's going to be very bad news for the earth um, while the wave screws are coming in. Okay, so basically I, I'm, I could sit there and share hundreds of these that I've printed off. I didn't print off a hundred, but I could share hundreds of them. Um, there's just so much. 
they're they're even saying uh, the wave energy coming in will hit the heliosphere. It will hit the outer solar system first, and no one knows exactly how hard it will hit, or how much debris is in it, or how close it will come to the Earth. The sun should react first, and effects will be felt within days here on Earth. It's a warning. It's also the first of 17 waves coming this year. The first 17 or rocks the size of cars will be coming. Um, and we don't know if it's that moment, but we know when that fire comes down, we go up. It's just that simple. And that is biblical. So, uh, Revelation 12, 3 through 5, which a fiery red dragon casts a third of the stars to the earth with its tail. Uh, same as the first trumpet, Revelation 8, 7. The first angel sounded, there followed hail and fire mingled with blood, and there cast upon the earth, and a third part of the trees was burnt up all the grass was burnt up asteroids are cold frozen balls of blood red iron uh oxide that burst into fire once they hit the earth's atmosphere and there's places that's already had the iron all over their hands and it's falling from the sky it's on cars it's on the ground it's on plants they don't know what it's caused from but this all right here revelation 12 3 through 5 um all of this is just, it's just all biblical, guys. So, um, and during the ten biblical plagues, they turned waters uh, and skies blood red, along with ten plagues of the earth, as the insider might from around the world and other government insiders and those who are real researchers watching myself know first as a red dust event, which is reality starting through. Soon it'll get real bad. A red dust is going to cover waters and land globally. And 2023 is going to be a roller coaster ride uh where you're not strapped in your seat um so let's hope that you know jesus christ as your personal lord and savior um because uh the signs in in the heavens um christ the one and only messiah told you would appear before his second coming um so anyways it's all here Black and white, red and blue, pink, purple, whatever color you want it to be. So, there was something else I had to tell you, and now I forgot. Oh, yeah. Um, so, we, we know that they've already been talking about the false messiah, and um, this is going to be for another video. Uh, this year, I do not really want to talk prediction on dates of rapture or anything. I am tired. I'm just tired. We're, I'm not tired. I'm weary. I'm watching each and every day. Every day is a high watch date. We do not know the day or hour, but I believe the second that it's getting ready to happen, the day it's going to happen, the minute it's going to happen, God is going to reveal that to us. Absolutely. So we were waiting on the Messiah, but what got me is this article that says, Biden, I look forward to working with Netanyahu. And... Um, he has become my friend for decades, jointly addresses the many challenges and opportunities facing Israel and the Middle East region, including threats from Iran. The United States is working to promote a region that's increasingly integrated, prosperous, and secure with benefits for all of its people. The statement contended from the start of my administration, we have worked with partners to promote this more hopeful vision of a region at peace, including between Israelis and the Palestinians. We aim to continue this important work with Israel's new government. Okay, Rabbi Kaduri's prophecy, and as we have also throughout my administration, the United States will continue to support the two-state solution and oppose policies that endanger its viability or contradict our uh, mutual um, interests and values. Well, I know any time, any day, Jesus is going to return, and all the signs are screaming towards it um with these in the events in the sun moon and stars in the sky and those god told us to look for so um take this up to the lord in prayer and i will see you there in the air god bless